Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in again to Sonoran Scale Studios. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you don't miss any future upcoming videos. Today, we are out in the backyard course once again with a little simple five gate course setup comparing the Axial Copra. This is completely box stock. Nothing modified at this point in any way, shape, or form. Running the stock Nitto Trail Grappler tires. We're going to compare it against the ECX Temper Gen 2. Now the Temper's got some modifications, but they're both going to be running on the same tires just to keep that part fair. One thing I've noticed thus far with these trail grappler tires, while I do like them and they do have a nice scale look there, they are, uh, I mean, a relatively soft compound, but for my particular environment and especially this stair step obstacle, they really struggle to hook up and get good traction. The Copra does have a dig function which will lock the rear diff and allows for tight radius turning, turning this thing into essentially a front wheel drive as it drags the rear wheels. I'm not using that in this particular run, just again trying to keep this as fair as possible despite uh, these rigs being so different, the Copra being a 10 scale. The CX Temper Gen 2 being a 16th scale. As you can see here as well, the Capra, it comes with these Curry F9 axles, which are they're absolutely awesome looking, and they seem to be very good performing. However, they're taking a little bit to get used to, as it's got such a wide stance. Once it's able to finally get a little bit of traction, it's up and over the last obstacle with not a whole lot of trouble. Kicks off the gate marker there and makes it back to the starting block. So just about 3 minutes and 40 seconds for the Capra to complete a 5 gate course. Now here is the little ECX Temper Gen 2 running the same wheels, same tires as the Capra. So there it's very even. Now this is running on a 1500 milliamp 2S LiPo pack, whereas the Capra did run on a 3S pack. So there is a power advantage obviously for the Capra. In addition to, it's obviously running a much larger motor at a 540 can versus this is a 380 size can in the ECX temper. Now the Capra struggled on this obstacle with these trail grappler tires as well and as you can see the temper is having a tough time <laughs> by itself uh, trying to hook that front left tire on that upright just to get a little bit of traction on the sidewall, but really not successful in doing it. And I actually end up having to give this thing a hand uh, to get it a step up. 
Uh, so a little bit of a cheat here advantage to the Capra as it was able to complete this. I think the longer wheelbase and it just being slightly heavier just allowed it to finally be able to hook up, whereas the Temper just really not able to. Now while the Capra does seem to have obvious advantages with it being much larger, um, this little temper, it reminds me of, you know, everybody likely either had a little brother or had a buddy who had a little brother and he would get a hold of his bigger brother's old sneakers, put them on, they were three sizes too big and go down to the basketball court and want to play with the older kids and he had the heart and really you could see that he had the ability it was just that he hadn't grown into it yet and that's kind of how I feel about this ECX Temper Gen 2 it is an awesome little little rig it really is it's incredible what it can crawl uh, for its size and really, when you slap some 1.9s on it, yes, they do look kind of obnoxiously huge. However, it is such a fun little thing to use. It's kind of half rock crawler, half rock bouncer. But I just picture a little kid with oversized shoes trying to bang with the big boys on the court. I have to say that for one third the MSRP, it only took the ECX Temper Gen 2 seconds more to complete a 5 gate course. It does deserve an additional time penalty as I did have to give it a hand to get up that stair step obstacle, but keeping in mind its size difference and disadvantages, I think it's pretty impressive and its results speak for itself. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.